In this video, we will go over the initial setup of the SitePulse software and select a site. First, you'll want to open the SitePulse software and then tap on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the map screen. This will open the settings screen. Tap on the setup button to open the setup screen. You will notice on the left hand side of the screen there are a handful of settings. These are the initial setup items that we will be going over. We will start out by going over the operator name. There is currently no operators to select from, so we will have to add one. Tap on the plus icon next to the operator name cell to open the Add New Device Operator screen. I will add my name into the new operator box and then tap on the Accept button at the bottom of the screen. You will now notice that I am the currently selected operator. Next, we will cover the application language. Tap on the application language cell the list of available languages will appear. We are going to tap on the English US to select it. Next up is the coordinate order. Tap on the coordinate order cell. You will notice two options, which are PNEZD and PENZD. These refer to the coordinate order, and the first is Point Northing Easting Elevation and Description. The second is point easting northing elevation and description. For this example, we are going to use the PNEZD. Tap on PNEZD to select it. Lastly, we are going to go over station format. Tap on the station format cell. You'll notice that there are three options. They are 0 plus 00. zero, point zero, zero 0 plus 000.00 and 0, 0.00. This is just how the number values will be shown. For this example, we are going to select 0, 0.00. Tap on 0, 0.00 to select it. Below these settings, you will notice a few items with checkboxes. The first being invert menu colors, which allows you to invert the colors of the menu screens. The next is show version warnings. This will allow warnings to pop up if you have a version that needs updated on hardware that is connected, like a receiver. The last is automatically send diagnostic and usage data to Trimble. This helps by sending Trimble diagnostic and usage information that is used to improve the performance of the SitePulse software. We will now quickly show you what the inverted menu colors look like. Tap on the box in front of Invert Menu Colors to add a check mark, and then tap on Accept at the bottom of the screen. You will notice a pop-up informing you that the SitePulse software needs to be restarted for the changes to be applied. Tap on Restart Now. The SitePulse software will now restart and will reopen at the map screen. Tap on the gear icon. You can now see the menu colors have been inverted. We will go ahead and change them back. Tap on Setup and then tap on the box in front of Invert Menu Colors to remove the check mark. Tap Accept at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice the pop-up again asking to restart the SitePulse software. Tap on Restart Now. The SitePulse software will restart and will reopen in the map screen. Tap on the gear icon. The menu colors are back to the original colors now. Tap on Setup to go back into the settings screen. Let's go ahead and quickly set up a second operator. Tap on the plus icon next to the operator name cell to open the Add New Device Operator screen. Type in a second operator name. For this example, we will type in Jeff Smith and tap on the Accept at the bottom of the screen. You will now notice that Jeff Smith is the currently selected operator. I want to change that back to myself, so I am going to tap on the operator name cell and then select myself again. The initial setup is complete. We will cover the other setup items in another video. Select Accept at the bottom of the screen. Now let's select a site. Tap on the Site button to go to the Open Site screen. You will notice the plus button next to the site cell. We do not want to select this icon because we want to select a site, not add a new site. So tap on the site cell to open the drop down list. You will notice that there is a demo site preloaded. 
Tap on the demo site to select it. You will now notice more fields below. Tap on the demo design under designs to select it. You will now notice a list of surfaces. Tap on this site under surfaces to select it. The last thing to do is create a new work order by tapping on the create work order under the work order column. This will open the create work order screen where the work order name is currently populated with today's date. You will want to create or use a common naming structure. It could be the name of the project with the current date. For this example, we will just use today's date. Select accept at the bottom of the screen. We are now back to the open site screen with everything we need selected. So tap on accept at the bottom of the screen. We are now back at the settings screen. We will just tap on accept again to get back to the map screen. You will now notice all the design information for the site and design that we selected. You have successfully performed an initial setup and selected the demo site. For more training, please visit learn.trimble.com and set up your free account.